clock hops, pogo hops. What else did we come up with, Drew? Uh, bunny hops, kangaroo hops. You're not gonna help? Okay, we'll, we'll stay with clock hops. All right, so what you're gonna do is, you're gonna have the ball, you're gonna be in, in triple threat, shoulder, feet shoulder width apart. I am gonna say, so the clock face, 12, three, six, nine. Okay, so I'm gonna give him a time and he is going to hop to that time and then he's gonna hop back. So if I say 12 o'clock, and then he's gonna be back. If I say three o'clock, if I say six o'clock, if I say nine o'clock, all right, so what's nice is you don't necessarily have to have a circle on the floor to do this. Step up here, Drew. And let's say I did the same thing, stop right there, all right? And I said 12 o'clock there, it would be the exact same thing. It doesn't matter that you don't have a circle, because I know a lot of the, the courts and places that you guys practice are elementary schools, and they don't still have little circles, let alone big circles. Um, they might have 18 different badminton lines on it. So it doesn't matter. They all hopefully know what a clock looks like. I think we live in a world maybe they don't all know anymore. So this will be a great life lesson for them. Um, then we'll do it with one foot. So let's do 12 o'clock again. And three o'clock, nine o'clock. And again, we can differentiate this. We can do it with both feet. We can go to military time if you want. Let's go to 1500. That would be three o'clock. That'd be good. All right, so you can expand it. There's lots of different variations. We're not gonna call this kangaroo hop. We're gonna call this clock hop. Nice.